We are still looking for the person who is the suspect in that matter. Um, we receive tips occasionally on his whereabouts, um, but to every time we respond, uh, he is not found. I have personally gone to the mother and had asked him, ask her, to see if she would be able to assist the police in locating her son, and even to the extent of asking her if she would be able to locate him and surrender him to the police. She had pledged that she's going to do her best to do so, so we'll wait to see if that is going to happen. But in the meantime, we continue our efforts um, to try and locate him. He's now on um, our five most wanted lists, and so you would know that he's of great priority to us. Sir, so was it gang related or what may have sparked this? Um, it is not gang related. There are a group of persons that hangs out together. They're all friends. And uh, apparently there's a, there was an argument that um, started between them. And uh, that argument led to the young man, Hyde, who was charged, um, handing the weapon to the alleged murderer. And the alleged murderer carried out the, uh, the act. So it's not a matter of them being gang members per se. They're, they're employed. Um, people and they had some argument among them between themselves and it led to that. Is it a personal disappointment for you that this is the first time Cotton Tree has been included in SOE and right under the SOE there's a murder? Again Mr. Vasquez we have to understand that SOEs are not designed to stop every crime from occurring just like if you have an SOE and uh, a wife and husband has an issue at home and one kill the other, how do you expect this? So he's going to stop that. But you're um, twisting the, the narrative. Obviously, these are people with guns, and they're also people not without, uh, not with an unsmeared name. So, so in a household, a wife and husband, one of them can't have guns or two of them. The objective of the SOE is to go after the persons who are known to give problems in the area continuously. It's not just to look at somebody and say, oh, he looks like he have a gun or oh, he looks so, I will pick them and lock them up. If we were to do that, you are going to be the first one to prance on the police and say that we're just picking up people or picking up people's sake. These are persons who were employed together. They were friends. Right? They were, they were at a yard, hanging out, enjoying themselves, an argument started, one kill the next one. How do you expect the police to stop that, Mr. Vasquez? And so to say that it is different than a wife and husband, it is not different. It's the same situation. There are certain things that is going to happen that is going to be outside the preventative reach of the police, and you have to learn to make sure when it happens, we just find a way to deal with it, as simple as that.